Florencia Dandridge with a No More Down Low news break. The 2012 International Queer People of Color Conference was held March 30th through April 1st on the campus of California State University, Northridge. The event focuses on the importance of diversity within the greater LGBT community. Let's give a round of applause for everyone coming out tonight. Focusing on the injustices and oppressions faced by same gender loving people of color, the three day event included workshops, panel discussions, and caucuses on issues ranging from politics to gender identity, from HIV and safe sex to the coming out process for ethnic people. Why is there a need for a queer people of color conference? For me, I've learned all about the gay white male. I've learned about the, well, the gay white male. The gay white male. So pretty much just learning about a different identity within that, especially of color, is something that definitely everyone should know a part of because we are definitely a part of building America today. When you come to a conference like this, you really get an insight and you learn what there is out there. It's not just queer people, it's queer people of color, race, gender, and you know, their class, and it's all, all, all in one. Many conferences that are queer focused uh, in, in my opinion are incredibly driven by mainstream or like broad queer culture and frequently uh, queer people of color voices get minimized or marginalized and pu pushed to the side. The 500 plus attendees came from all parts of North America to discuss social reform and to unite in solidarity and empowerment. There isn't much space for racialized queer people in the community. Though the community is big, a great percentage of it is predominantly white people. So it kind of like makes you think and ask, where do you fit in? A lot of people don't know that like gay people like exist even. In my own family, when I came out to my sisters, they were kind of like, gay, what's that? So I think definitely just awareness is a big, it's really important. Secret tactics exposed, aimed at defeating marriage equality. But the recent news reports of the National Organization for Marriage's strategy to pit the black and Hispanic community against the LGBT community became a hot topic. Separating, it just doesn't like make sense in my head to do that because that's, that's not like reality, that's not life. No, it's not going to work. I mean, separation, that's, it's, that's what we're fighting for, equal rights, and we don't want to be separated. One, it doesn't surprise me. I think it has long been a tool to, to um, pit uh, marginalized populations against each other. I hope that the communities respond and work to dismantle the work that NAM is doing. For more information about the Queer People of Color Conference, go to our No More Down Low website. From the campus of Cal State University Northridge with a No More Down Low news break, this is Lorencia Dandridge.